Hey guys, welcome back to our channel technology and today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this issue like Microsoft Word could not start last time. So what you have to do, you need to go to your uh, start menu first and type over there reg, reg edit and after that press enter from your keyboard and after that click on yes. Also you can open this window using your run. So just go to your start menu and type over there run and press enter. Once you have opened our run command dialog box, you have to type over there reg edit and after that click on OK and you will get this same window. Okay. So now you have to expand H key current user, which is showing over there as you can see. And after that expand software. After that scroll down and expand Microsoft. So here it is. Now you have to expand. Scroll down, scroll down. You have to find office over there. You have to expand that. Now here you need to select your version. So if you don't know your version, then you just need to copy paste this command from my video description. Just copy this command. And after that, go to your start menu and type over there power cell. Now right click on Windows Power Cell and click on Run as Administrator. Now click on Yes. After that just right click on your Power Cell and command will be automatically pressed over there. Now press Enter and you can see your Office version over there as you can see. Also you can check through your setting button. Just go to your Start menu and click on this setting button over there. After that click on Apps. Now here you can find Microsoft Office. So here it is as you can see 2016, 16 version. So what I have to do is I have to expand this one which is 16 and now expand common. Now here you will get one folder is called open find. So click over there and on your right side corner you have to create one file. So you have to right click on this blank portion area and click on uh, new. So just right click over there and click on new and after that select here D word value 32 bit and after that you have to put this name is called enable shell data caching. After that click on OK and now double click over there on this enable shell data caching and after that the value data should be 1 and after that click on OK. Once it is done, close this window. Now you have to go to your start menu and type over there win word and space after that slash save. So don't worry with that. I will give you this command also on my video description. So let's copy paste this command also from my video description and paste it over there. And after that you have to click on Microsoft Word. Once it is open on your computer, go to file and click on new blank document. If you are getting error, then just simply go to your start menu and click on this setting button over there. And now you have to click on these apps and apps and features. And here you will get Microsoft Office. So go modify, click on modify after selecting Microsoft Office. And click on yes and here you will get one option is called quick repair so after selecting this option click on repair and click on repair so after that you have to restart your computer and it will fix your problem so I hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any queries or question then comments down below I will see you guys on the next one next video take care